Hi everyone, sort of like a emergency recording because Rivian goes into a service center tomorrow. The AC stopped working, compressor cannot kick in. Sometimes it kicks in, but almost never. Uh, it's like not very pleasant experience driving it in a 75, 85 degrees weather. Uh, so yes, I was able to get the service appointment which was a little bit of, night, of a nightmare and I actually planned to do another video talking more about the Rivian service experience, which in my opinion is not great and it's not getting better. Uh, but in this short video, I actually wanted to talk about something else. Remember charging port door? Um, I think in one of the first videos, although I couldn't find it, I made sort of like a prediction that the charging port is over-engineered and probably not going to last. In another video, uh, for 20,000 miles slash 18 months uh, of driving, uh, I actually said that the charging port door is still working. Uh, and I even said that I'm wrong because uh, apparently my prediction didn't come true. So guess what? Um, my charging port door stopped working. Also was that a compressor that was trying to kick in stopped working. The charging port door several weeks ago, it just completely stopped working. And the crazy part is that there is no manual override to open it, to force open it. And it was just like super casual. Uh, one day I unplugged the car, closed the charging port door, till went to do some chores, uh, came back home and just couldn't open the door. That's it. I had about 55% of battery left. I did all of the soft reset, uh, hard reset, restart, sleep cycle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, whatever uh, service advisors from Rivian suggested me to do, the door would just not open. Obviously, I spoke to a service. At some point, they offered me like a, a month from the day that the charging port was uh, broken and the appointment in service center, which I said like, you know, guys, this is not working because the car cannot be charged. So it just a month from now, uh, an appointment is no, no, no go. They were able to uh, come up with a mobile appointment first, uh, basically next day. The mobile appointment guy um, came and uh, disassembled the uh, wheel arch area, confirmed that the charging port door is not not, uh, not working. I was able to drive to the nearest service center, uh, which is in Trenton, something that uh, opened recently. But because the battery that I have left was enough to get only to Trenton, they were uh, able to uh, get me an appointment there. I came there, I dropped the vehicle, and a few days later, they, they replaced the uh, motor. And they just said that the motor just stopped working. That's it. So, yes, I was right. And when I asked about this on Reddit, a few other people confirmed that that happened to them as well. So, yes, I would say that the charging port door was over-engineered. Um, and it's the point of breaking where maybe they just don't need that complicated mechanism. Uh, and it looks like from the video that I've seen about the restyle that is uh, coming soon um, that uh, they are moving the charging port door to, to the right side and it's going to be mechanical. It's not going to be automated. Um, at least it looked like that in the video, so I don't know. It seems like a quest to simplify Rivian uh, to make it <laughs> simpler and hopefully cheaper uh, is, is ongoing. But anyway. Um, so, like I said, they replaced the uh, charging port uh, motor uh, and it works, but uh, a couple of things. It looks like they put it together not very well, so uh, when the door is closed, it's not properly aligned and there is a lot of shifting there if I push on the, uh, on the door or uh, on the underlying uh, whatever plastic there is under there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> something that um, apparently the, I don't know whether they were doing the rush job or maybe there was something else, but they didn't put the door uh, together well. The other thing that is not working, now when the vehicle is charging, 
uh, the lights are not coming up, whether the, it's a blue light when the uh, charging is scheduled or the green light when uh, a charging is ongoing, uh, there is no light, that's it. At least it's charging, okay? <laughs> I mean, lights are nice, uh, but not required, but the charging process is definitely must have, so I'm glad that they fixed it. Uh, but I also have an agreement that once I um, drop off the vehicle um, for service appointment in, to, to fix the AC, they will look into what's what's happening with the charging port. The funniest part is that, like I said, there there is no manual override, and it takes significant effort to actually open the door. If it ceased, service center actually broke the door uh, when they were opening it. Uh, so now. As another, as another part of the appointment that I'm getting, they're going to be replacing the door uh, completely. They had it uh, painted and then they will install a new door for me when, when the vehicle is there. Long story short, charging port door is not as reliable as I thought in my previous video. Do we need that complicated charging port door? Probably not. And it looks like Rivian is fixing this. I just like the fact that I was right when I said that this Thing probably is not gonna last uh, it didn't tomorrow I'm just gonna go to service center and see uh, how long it's gonna take them to fix the uh, the AC stay tuned I'll keep you posted take care bye